the last painful days of a defining event for the baby boom generation, the Vietnam War. That is the subject of CNN's The 70s tomorrow night. Vietnam was America's first war broadcast into Americans' homes every night. We talked with the legendary newsman Dan Rather about his reporting during the conflict and asked if he realized at the time the impact those news reports would have on public opinion of the war. Early in the war, no, it didn't really dawn on me what impact it was having. But having covered the war and then come back to coverage of the White House, and the contrast between what the President of the United States and the White House were saying about the war, and what I knew myself having walked the ground and seen the war, there was such a gap that, that I, you know, I said to myself, public opinion is beginning to come around, and one reason they're beginning to come around is because people do see the war up close and personal. It's so fascinating, too, because when you talk about Vietnam, particularly as you move on in the 70s, what Americans watched on their TV was withdrawal retreat mm -hmm. almost in, in, in failure, the vivid images of the helicopters leaving Saigon. Uh, and emotionally, that was something that America had never had to deal with before. The pictures of the chaos in Saigon, it wasn't just the retreat. This was a disorderly retreat. It was a common thought about, this is the United States of America. Yeah, perhaps we've lost, but we, we shouldn't be losing this way. It made a deep imprint on people. And what was the impact on you in seeing that after covering the war and in 75 with the fall of Saigon? What, what do you remember thinking at that moment at that time? I was thinking all those lives lost, all those young men coming back without their limbs or unable to see, all those flag, flag draped coffins, for what? And I don't think mine was an uncommon thought. So watch the 70s piece with honor of Vietnam tomorrow night at 9 right here on CNN.